Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now if you download the latest 22.3.1 AMD drivers and you have an RX 5000 series card or higher, then you'll now have access to Radeon Super Resolution. Radeon Super Resolution or RSR is an in-driver upscaling feature that can be enabled from within the AMD software. Unlike FSR, it doesn't require in-game integration, so it's more widely accessible in that regard, but considering it only works with 5000 or 6000 series GPUs at the moment, those with older cards can't benefit from it. Basically, RSR works like this. You enable it from within the AMD software, fire up one of your favourite games, and if you find that said game is struggling at your monitor's native resolution, you can select a lower res from the in-game graphics menu, and RSR will upscale it. You can check it's enabled by hitting Alt plus R, and Alt plus U will toggle it on and off while in-game. Most 5 and 6000 series GPUs shouldn't have any issues with the latest titles, but one of the weakest in the lineup, the 6500 XT, can struggle with higher settings due to its lack of VRAM. It makes the most sense to just lower the visual quality options or resolution, but enabling RSR will mean that we can enjoy the extra fidelity that the higher presets offer without sacrificing the sharpness of the overall presentation too much. AMD themselves say that if the game has FSR then use that instead, and even though Forza Horizon 5 doesn't, I'd still recommend making use of the game's own dynamic res technology. I found that with the 6500 XT, the 4 gigs of VRAM is its biggest flaw, but that doesn't mean it isn't still a capable card, especially in older games. GTA 5, for example, runs just fine with the highest settings. The average frame rate is good, and the percentile lows indicate a consistent experience for the most part. Dropping the resolution to 900p and enabling Radeon Super Resolution will produce an image that looks sharper than native 900p for sure, and alongside the upscaling to 1080p, we get a slight frame rate increase. So far my biggest problem with this tech is its lack of support for older cards. While FSR works with a far wider range of GPUs, RSR works with loads more games but it's bittersweet. Utilising Radeon Super Resolution to upscale a sub 1080p image to full HD isn't the best use of it either. It's at 2160p or 4K where the 6500 XT is way out of its depth. Now as I mentioned before, I and even AMD themselves suggest using FSR or Fidelity FX Super Resolution if a game supports it. If it doesn't, well this is where we get to see what upscaled 720p to 4K gaming is like. This is probably an extreme example and you might want to drop things first to 1440p on a 4K display or 1080p which is where we'll start first of all. As you can see the 6500 XT can run Red Dead Redemption 2 at 4K just not very well. 20 or so FPS is the average and although this gets better in more open areas it's never really playable. If we drop to 1080p with Radeon Super Resolution enabled then our game looks a little crisper than it does at native 1080p and our frame rate is much improved. Now in my opinion RSR doesn't look as good as FSR with the higher quality settings nor does it hold up to Nvidia's DLSS but it's the compatibility with a wider range of games potentially thousands of games that stands out to me. It's just very limited in terms of the hardware it can be used with right now. Let's turn things right down to 720p next. I guess you could sort of say we're going to be gaming at 4K at 720p, which sounds like a good title for the video actually. Turning the in-game res down to 720p and allowing RSR to upscale, it produces a better than native looking result for certain, native 720p that is, but don't expect it to look as good as native 4K, not by a long shot. I think this tech is going to make more sense in the future as games become more and more demanding and entry level cards like the 6500 XT here start to struggle more and more. Sort of like how FSR has helped breathe new life into a lot of old hardware. I very much welcome stuff like this, it's difficult to actually demonstrate the exact quality of these various settings in a video due to compression and whatnot, but as I close out the video I'll leave you with some more upscaled 720p gameplay. If you have a 5 or 6000 series AMD card then I'd recommend trying it out, especially if you have a 4K display because upscaling from say 1440p to 2160p in a game without FSR might really help you out if your card is struggling at native resolution, but that's all for this one. 
If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.